figure out a mini bike for a 50 mile mini bike hood ride. That's riding a mini bike for 50 miles. Something comfortable, something with good brakes, with decent power. So we're gonna go with this Go Power Sports Megamoto 212 electric start kit. Comes with a Tillerson 212E electric start engine, battery box, and it's really cool they set it up to where you can mount a battery in the Megamoto 212 frame. Yeah, I really like the Megamoto 212. It has an excellent seating position, front and rear hydraulic disc brakes, which is cool, front suspension. So I think it'll be a really awesome bike for a hood ride. So I'm gonna start off by installing the fork assembly. See if I can throw the back wheel on here. Got that brake bracket. Got that spacer for this side. Install this brake on here. Loctite on these bolts. Let me see if I can get this kickstand on here. All right, man, that one went on there easy. Let's see if I can get this foot peg on here as easy as the kickstand went on. Push that spring in there. All right, there we go. That'll work. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and mount this um, battery box before I mount the jack shaft, just so it'll kind of be out of the way. So I have the other collar bolted on here, or the other bracket bolted to the other side. So I think it goes like this. Yeah, it fits on there pretty nice. Then you have the other side that bolts on here. Yeah, that thing looks nice on there. Really nice and beefy. All right, so now I'll go ahead and install that jack shaft. Put a little grease on this thing. on here and then the keyway then the gear washer lock washer and bolt so now I'm gonna throw that driven pulley on here so washer keyway pulley Another washer and the nut. So I got the driven on there, so now I'll throw that chain on here. And 
and make sure the clip's facing the right way. So we got the marks lined up, the same on both sides. Tighten down these adjusters. Throw this fender and light on here. Install the chain guards. Okay, so now I gotta remove this charcoal canister or at least relocate it so I can fit the engine on the uh, on the frame. So another thing I'm gonna have to do is relocate this negative battery cable so it'll reach the battery. So I'm gonna unhook it from the front here and just bolt it to the back of the engine somewhere. Loosen up the blower housing a little bit. Pop this bolt out of here, pull that cable out. See if she'll come out of there now. Oh yeah. So then I'll just bolt it to the back of the blower housing down here. And that's a lot shorter run to the battery. Let's bolt this back down right here. So now I gotta replace the existing hot side cable with the longer cable that they give you in the kit. So you can reach over the frame down to the battery. And then you're supposed to hook a pigtail on here too, on the hot terminal to plug into the wiring harness, which they probably gave me and I probably lost it. So I'm gonna have to make one. Cause you know, you gotta lose at least one part during each build. So I got a little piece of 14 gauge wire with a uh, male disconnect. You can just make a little pigtail. All right, there we go. That looks pretty good. So I'm gonna hook up my pigtail to the positive side along with that extended cable. So that ought to work. So let me pop this engine on there. So now I'm gonna install the torque converter cover brackets. So the kit came with eight millimeter bolts for the cover brackets, but for a Tillerson, you need five sixteenths by 24. Throw some Loctite on these. So now I'm going to install the driver pulley. Install the belt, I gotta make sure I get that tapered side to the outside. Make sure she's in alignment, because I can always throw another washer behind the driven if it's not in alignment. Oh yeah, looks like it's pretty good. cover on here. So for the wiring harness on the Megamoto 212, there's two kill switch wires and you're only gonna use one. So take the male end and plug it into the, um, the Tillotson female end. For the ground wire, on the Tillotson 212 harness. I'm gonna take and cut this loop. And now I'm gonna loosen up the uh, bolt here under the tank and ground that. Okay, so I got that wire grounded there. And now the only other wire that we're gonna use is that pigtail that I hooked to the positive lead and I need to hook it 
to the red wire on this plug on the Megamoto 212 harness and I find the red, red terminal and I plug it in to the red terminal. And that should be it. I'm just gonna clean up these wires. And then I need to run the cable back to the battery, the hot cable. So I got all the wires hooked up. And I got them all tucked up in here. The wires tucked in the light. Then I have the main hot cable running down the frame rail right here. I put a little wire loom on it. So now all I really have to do is hook up the throttle cable and relocate this charcoal canister. Back off this throttle stop. All right, let's see if that'll work. Okay, yeah, it'll work. All right, so I got the throttle hooked up. So now the only thing I have to do is relocate this charcoal canister. And I could take it off, but you know, you wanna be 100% smog legal out there on the road. So I drilled a couple holes in the fender and I put a couple grommets in there. So all I have to do is pop it on here and we should be good. All right, so there we go. So now it's relocated. So let me throw that seat on here. All right, looks like I got it complete. All the wires tucked, throttle hooked up. So I guess the only thing to do now is see if it actually works. So let me turn this light on here. All right, so the light comes on. Let's see if it'll turn over. Okay. All right, so I guess the only thing to do now is go test it out. Zero to 30, Megamoto 212, Tillerson 212E. All right, so we did zero to 30 in 6.06. .06. That's pretty good for a brand new stock engine that's not even broken in yet.
So the bike runs awesome, surprisingly fast for being a brand new engine, not even broke in. The Mega Moto 212 is probably one of my favorite big bikes. So I've been doing these videos pretty close to two years now. So I just want to say thanks to Go Power Sports for helping me out on doing quite a few of these videos. 